Welcome back to Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico and today we're gonna do a very fine martini with one of our favorite flavors, Absolute Pears. We're gonna make the Absolute Pears martini. You do not wanna miss this or any other of our drinks videos. So don't forget to click, like, subscribe, all that, do it all. So we're gonna do a shake and drink again. We're gonna take our tin on tin Boston shaker. We're gonna take our jigger. This is the one from earlier with all the measurements down the side because we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice fresh. Take a knife, cut that lemon in half. Take your lemon squeezer. Now we want 15 mils per drink. So we're gonna squeeze out 30 mil here. Got roughly about 15 there. Boom. So, 30 mils for two drinks, that's 15 per drink. Next up, we're gonna take some fresh pear puree. Basically, it's boiled down, added sugar, blended up fruit. We want 15 mils per drink, so that's 30 going in. Next up, we're gonna take some simple syrup, and we actually want 25 mils per drink. So we're gonna put a big 50 mils right in there. Last but not least, the star of the show. Made with all natural essences and no added sugar. We've got absolute pear going straight in. We want 45 mils per drink. So that's 90 going straight in. Next up, time to shake. But don't forget, you wanna pack your shaker with as much ice as possible. This means you'll have more control over the dilution. So we're gonna pack that up. Give it a little knock to seal and get ready to shake. Give it a real good hard shake, then try and get it open if you can. So now we're gonna fine strain this drink directly into our martini glasses. Again, the reason why we're gonna fine strain is to make sure we get rid of all those small chips of ice, but also the pear puree and pears themselves is quite a grainy fruit. So we don't really want that grainy texture within the drink, we just want the flavor of the pear. So we're gonna slam on our Hawthorne strainer, take our fine strainer or tea strainer, and just get it in. And as you can see right there, that's a hell of a lot of ice that would just be sitting in your drink. And we don't want that in there. We've already got it at the perfect dilution and it's ready to drink. Now we're gonna garnish it. What you can do is garnish with a nice pear slice. But personally, you've seen all my videos, you know I'm a fan of the lemon zest. I also think this is gonna give a real different dimension to the drink. Once we zest those oils over it, it's gonna really brighten up those heavy pear flavors. So we wanna get that zest right over. Get those oils in and just slap it in. And there we have it, the Pears Martini. Let's give it a taste. Instantly that lemon zest just elevates the whole aroma of the drink. Sweet but yet balanced, candy-ish because of the pear flavor. It's a sublime drink. That would be the showstopper of any dinner party that you have this summer, the Pears Martini. 